What's up, guys? This is David for another Refuge Daily. I, as you saw earlier, am in Megabit's room. That's the homie Megabit we're hanging out right now. Um, been thinking this past, well, since Thanksgiving has been over. I don't know about you guys, but in uh, the Taylor house, uh, Christmas officially starts the day after Thanksgiving on that Friday, known as Black Friday. Uh, our family, we, we coined the day Christmas Friday and we put the decorations up, the Christmas music, all that stuff. Um, so I've been thinking about Christmas a lot lately, as I think all of us are at this time of year. And um, I just recently, uh, this past week, I saw um, the movie or the concert, or we're gonna call it the event, uh, that's in the theaters right now, or at least was. It's called uh, Christmas with the Chosen. Um, some of you know that show, The Chosen. Amazing show. If you have not watched it yet, you gotta watch it. Um, I had some people here uh, at church whom we love deeply, and they they uh, continued on me for a while and said, you gotta watch this, you gotta watch this. And I resisted for a little bit, but then I came to my senses and I watched it. And uh, man, it's, it, is, it is so good. Uh, it's almost like when you read your Bible and you have like a devotional book, you think of like Oswald Chambers, uh, My Utmost for His Highest, and you, and you read it along with the Bible and it's devotional and it, and it causes you, to, you know, to, to, to worship, really. It leads you into worship. The Chosen is almost like a video formatted devotional. It is so good. Anyways, I'm getting off track. But thinking about Christmas, um, and The Chosen, one of their pilot episodes, or their pilot episode was one called The Shepherd. Again, uh, same, same family was like, hey, you need to watch this. And I was like, okay. So I watched it this week. Phenomenal. So good. I was talking to my wife after we saw the Christmas uh, with The Chosen. And when I think of Christmas, you know, and you think of, uh, you know, you think of, uh, well, obviously the incarnation, God, who, who's always been eternal, right? Coming down as a, as a, as a man, as a baby, really. Um, and, and I think of the shepherds and I think of all, you know, just that whole story, the, the Luke 2 account. And you, and you think of that, and you think of the wise men, you think, you think of the star, you think of all that different stuff. We came home from after watching that, uh, that movie or event, right? And I was talking to my wife about the incarnation and I'm like, I feel like, as as humans, right, our mind can only comprehend so much before we hit the top of the ceiling of our comprehension, if that makes sense. I understand and believe that God became flesh. We know that in, in, in John, right, the Gospel of John, it says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And then if you skip down to verse 14 in John chapter 1, it says, well, then the Word became flesh, and dwelt among us, or literally tabernacled among us, made his presence here among us. And that's clearly speaking of Jesus. And so it's speaking of the incarnation, and you have, like, so in my mind, I'm, I'm thinking, and I'm like, okay, so God, you, you, you came down, stepped out of eternity, stepped into time, stepped into uh, a, a system that, that you have created, and you didn't just subject yourself to become a man, but you subjected yourself to become a baby, a baby who had a, who had needs, who needed to be changed, who who needed the proper uh, nourishment from mom. Who like you, God? You subjected yourself to pregnancy, the process of being formed. It's like, and my mind at this point hits the roof of my comprehension, and I'm like, God, I just don't understand. It, like, I can't comprehend the cost. We talk about the cost of the cross all the time, rightfully so. And again, there's the song that says, I'll never know how much it costs to see my sin upon that cross. Like, my mind tops out, right? I can't comprehend the cross all the way. But at the same time, when it comes to the incarnation, it's like, I can't comprehend it all the way. It is so beyond comprehension how God being so high, so above, so eternal, so massive, so sovereign, so, so powerful, and he would step down into a needy human body, human experience fully, and into one of the messiest situations you could think of. I told you, I, I've been thinking about Christmas, and I feel like this Christmas, as I'm even sharing right now i feel like this is the season this is this is this is the theme 
that I think God is having me meditate on this Christmas season is, is not just the incarnation, but really on the cost of the incarnation, how much it cost. And, and we know uh, further on in the Bible that it says that God, uh, he came down, right? The incarnation, Christmas points to the cross. Christmas points to the cross. And we know that Jesus endured the shame for the joy that was set before him, which is us. And so I would just say, guys, I want to encourage you um, this Christmas season, let's not miss it. Let's not miss out on what God wants to do in a fresh way in our minds and in our hearts. Let's not get so bogged down with the busyness of life, with the busyness of all the different things that are going on this Christmas season. But let's be people who truly just stop and marvel, or as Jeff has been talking about this past weekend, that we would enter into a deeper sense of awe and wonder of who God is, what he did, yes, on the cross, yes, on the cross, but also what he did in just becoming one of us, that we may relate to him, right? It's, it's crazy. Let's think about that. Let's meditate on that. Father, I thank you for being with us. God, I thank you that you are God with us, Emmanuel. And, and Lord, I just pray that you would, um, this season, you would do something new and fresh in our hearts and our minds. God, would you lead us to a deep place of worship? We thank you for the incarnation, God. We thank you that you came for us. We thank you that you died for us. We thank you that you are now indwelling us. And we thank you that you've secured us and that we are going to be with you, Lord. We love you. We praise you. And we ask these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you guys.